There's a noticeable trend in the EU and amongst member states to look at Libya through the anti-migration lens. Uh, this means putting in place funding schemes and policy priorities uh, that aim to curb the flow of migrants coming into Libya through its southern border and out through the coast and into the Mediterranean. This is obviously a concern of the EU and of the EU member states, but there's a risk that by doing so and focusing so much on the um, migration Libya nexus, we actually forget that Libya um, is a state that requires all our help to get back on its feet. Libya is in a crisis situation. Libya remains institutionally divided. Libya remains a country where there's a deep economic crisis that in itself is feeding into the migration crisis. Because without uh, security control, uh, without a functioning government, with divided institutions and a very conflictual uh, domestic narrative remains on the verge of being a collapsed country. So there needs to be more effort from EU and member states to address Libya's underlying problems as a state and not only as a country of transit of migrants. And, by, and to do that, it means that the international community needs to uh, work towards a political stabilization of Libya, promoting an agenda that will lead towards the unification of its security forces and bring together the divided economic institutions. This is needed to bring Libya back on its feet and it would do wonders also to uh, make Libya a more livable functioning state where even migrants can work because migrants used to work in Libya. They were a domestic workforce that was absorbed by the local economy. Now the local economy is dead and even those who have been living in Libya for a long time can no longer work there. They cannot make ends meet. So priorities have to shift.